What's up, guys, and welcome to your App Store update. It is Wednesday, May 1st. I'm Justin. I'm Marty. Marty, hey. Hello again. Hi, guys. Um, Marty, I keep having you on the App Store update because we keep having board games. I know, and I get excited about board games. On T today us. is another big board game day, yeah. um, but we do have some, or I guess just one game debut we need to get through. Um, and that's, a, I downloaded this game strictly because of its name. Okay. And this is Better Than Portal. Better Than, that is a bold statement. <laughs> <for the> game. <laughs> they, well, they're swinging for the fences they on are. the name, at least. So it's like that. Remember that 2D portal, uh, that, like Flash game. It was free, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was this great. is this is like that, but not free. Yeah. And not, that you know, cool. actually licensed. Like. Yeah, yeah. So here's the thing about this game: is it's actually totally not bad. Yeah. Like, but I think the name is just a mistake. Yeah, like, yeah. I think they probably shouldn't have called their game that. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually already stuck. I don't know how to do oh, this. Oh wow. Harder than Portal. Oh, not going through that one. Why not? How do I how do I beat this level? Uh, whoa! Whoop. Oh, there you go. So I mean, you get the idea already. Yeah. It's got a bunch of levels, so like that's just level five, and yeah. there's like you know multiple worlds of levels. So it's like there's a ton of content. Here. Uh, that whoa! Let's go! Let's go all the way to the right. That just looks like a complete portal ripoff. Yeah. Like to look at that. No, I mean this is a total clone. So yeah. here's the deal: better than Portal Makers. I think naming your game this was a mistake because yeah. it totally seems like you have a decent 2D puzzle platformer, sure, sure. lots of content. I like the art. But when you say that you're better than <laughs> one of like the best games of the last decade, that's kind of uh, for you sure. know, setting the expectations. A Although lot. then again, that's actually literally why I downloaded it. Yeah. So, so maybe they do. Maybe know it what works. Doing. Yeah. Uh, that's better than Portal. It's 99 cents. Okay. It's uh, iPhone bad. only. Okay. Oh, iPhone only. Um, I mean, I'm, you can play it on iPad, iPad phone, but, up, but it's not universal. Sure, sure. So we do have some price drops today. Um, we have Repulse. 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 I don't like the way that title's spelled. <laughs> um, this is like a Wipeout okay. style game. Yeah. Are there a lot of those on uh, iOS? No. Okay. And this is the best one, for okay. sure. This is cool. one that when it came out, I wanted to do a review for it, but sure, you know, sure. there's too many games coming out. Wow, it is really good looking. Yeah, I'm impressed, yeah. With, I'm impressed with the visuals. Yeah. Um, I'm playing with tap controls because I was playing on the train this morning. Yeah. But uh, it's got tilt controls sure, and all sure. sort of the different. It's got a slider control option as well. Yeah. I think. So th I guess the game's big sort of twist is that you go through these gates and then you're trying to match the gate to the color that's at the top. So it's okay, like interesting. So it changes. Yeah. And that's how you get the boost. And so okay. now I need to fly through the green ones. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. I, uh, it's got online I'll multiplayer. It's got you know they're kind of always updating it and adding more stuff. This yeah. is sort of the first starter race. Repulse is super cool. <laughs> yeah, I feel like anyone who digs uh, F Zero or Wipeout, uh, check that out. Anybody who likes games that look like that game should yes. get that game. Yes, that's wow. You should write reviews um, <laughs> for, for IGN.com. <laughs> uh, that's normally two ninety nine. It's on sale for ninety nine cents. Nice, nice. Um, Konami has this kind of trashy baseball game on yeah. sale. This is a uh, Power Pros twenty thirteen World Baseball Classic. I think this is a long, uh, long running series. Yeah, yeah, it just doesn't. Again, this is another. Whoa, it's really loud. Yeah. This is another iPhone game, so you know we're blowing it oh, up to yeah, play on yeah. an iPad. Sure. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't look very good visually. Yeah, yeah. And the gameplay seems sort of simple. I played oh, baseball. Yeah. Looks like am I? I'm batting, so like that's gonna be a ball. Yeah. Let's see if I can get a hit here. Like it just seems like you just kind of tap. Like. Whoa. There's just not much to it. Yeah, yeah. And like the crowd is like this terrible texture. I don't know. Like there's nothing. It's not bad. Like I totally played several innings on the plane and thought it was fine. It's just there's not enough interaction sure, sure. between like the batting and the pitching. So what? Uh, are, are, is there like a big baseball market on iOS? I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. I mean, are there like do any of the like, hey. like Sony mix the other ones? So uh, like. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there is. It's not like this is a big thing. Yeah. I um, want uh, Ken Griffey Jr. for the Super Nintendo to be oh on man. iOS. That I don't think that's so possible good. though. Uh, Power Pros is free though. Okay. So that's well, the only that's, that's the thing. Like, you like baseball, I, it's hard to complain too vigorously. Yeah. If you um, like baseball or terrible looking crowds, mm -hmm, check out mm -hmm, Power Pros. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pixel and Dungeons, the game we looked at Monday. So here's a pet peeve of mine. This game came out for $1.99. Right. I bought it, and presumably other people bought sure, it. Sure, sure. Now it's free. That's awful. It's been two days. Yeah, it's been 48 hours. Yeah, and so I'm not even, like, you know, watch Monday's App Store update if you want, like, a little walk through the game. And it's another game that seems totally fine. I'm just annoyed that it dropped in price. So yeah, that so is, uh, that's kind of terrible. Uh, Bejeweled HD is on sale. This is exciting. I'm a big Bejeweled fan. Is that true? I can't, I I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. No, 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 I'm being serious. I, I... You know, so it's Popcap got gets a lot of hate, but I'm a, I'm a fan. No, Popcap's awesome. Yeah. It's normally three ninety nine. It's on sale for ninety nine cents. Nice. It's got all sort of the modes, so the classic mode, you yep. know, a diamond mine, all the sort of other 
ancillary. Yeah, yeah. You like that word? Sure, sure. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're teaching the kids today. Mwah. We're bejeweling. We Mwah. are bejeweling. Combos all up in. So, yeah, bejewel, flame gems, uh -huh. sort of things. Okay. You said 99 cents today? Yep. Okay. This yes. is, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the classic puzzle games. So, I would, uh, anyone with iOS device who likes puzzles, don't be <laughs> foolish and buy this. Marty, I don't know if you're doing it on purpose, but you do realize that you're like... Do I just sound like incredibly sarcastic? Well, no, you don't sound sarcastic. You're just like, if you like games that look like Wipeout, get Repulse. Yeah. If you like puzzle games, get Bejewel. I mean, that's 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 <laughs> it. I think that's the easiest way, is if you like A or B, then you like C. For fans of the genre. For fans of the genre, it's, absolutely. It's a 7.0. Yeah. Um, let's get into the board games. Um, we have three board games that dropped in price today. Oh, man. The first is Amber Route, okay. and I don't think this is a port of a physical board game. I think this is like a like a di you know built built from digital for the ground. Gotcha, gotcha. And this is uh, <laughs> I don't like again. It's going to be really hard to try to sort of explain the yeah, rules of sure, these. Yeah, sure, sure. But the short version is that you have a deck of cards, and then you spend resources to cast your cards. You know, either the blue or yellow or red, which yeah, are you yeah. know meat, money, or runes. And then you're trying to race. It's a race to see who can get to the other end okay, of the board gotcha. first. And so you can see, like, you can knock your enemies back or, you know, you can gain more resources yourself. Yeah. And that's basically it. I'm going to be honest. The car the drawings on the cards are kind of horrifying. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The, the art here is not much to look at. Yeah. I mean, it's horrifying, like, nightmarish. Like, that, that imp hunter, oh. I do not want to Oh, like, encounter. genuinely creepy. Yeah. Oh, look the at the rover, eyeball. Look at all those guys. Yeah, the tax collector kind of looks like a... Like a well, yeah, now that you my nightmares. the wraith. Now yeah. that you pointed out, you're kind of right. Yeah, this is uh, not suitable for children. And so it's like you can skip yourself forward or knock your enemy back, and then it's just sort of this two-person race. Okay. Um, you know, it seemed fine. Again, like with board games like this, like you really need to spend a lot of time with them to yeah, yeah, to understand if they're balanced or yeah. not. So what was that on sale for? Uh, that's free. Oh, that's free. Amber okay. Route's free. Uh, Kalis, Kalis is. Uh, I never played the physical board game, Neither but it got great reviews. Okay. It's one of the most. I think it's like in the top ten of all time. Wow. On BGG, um, it's like you were here when we did uh, uh, the worker placement one. Stone. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it called? Stone. Uh, we're screwing up. We're this screwing up. This is the part where you go on the internet and look up stone. <laughs> okay. Stone. So this guy is kind of weird looking. I'm gonna be honest. This is the first thing I noticed here. Stone Age. Stone, Stone Age. Stone Age. So this is like a little bit deeper, more hardcore version of Stone Age. Okay. And what I mean by that is they're both worker placement games. Yeah. So you have a handful of workers, and you have to choose like what you're gonna spend. Like if you put them in the in the mine, they'll yeah. get more gold for you. If you put them in this building, they'll get more whatever for you. And it's really about opportunity cost. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and you are. It's like cooperative, competitive. So everyone's trying to work together to build this castle. But whoever does like the most to build it, they'll Is, win the game. Yeah, the yeah. End. And so, I, you know, again, I didn't play Kalis when it came, you know, when the physical board game came out. So, um, I can't explain the rules in any sure, more detail sure. than yeah. that. This port has really, really positive reviews. I, I think it's kind of bland visually. Like, I feel like Stone yeah. Age. Yeah. I feel like Stone Age looked better. I completely agree with you. But, but maybe this is one of those games where like. You know, look, you're playing for the strategy, yeah. and like it's a solid. Like again, it's got AI, it's got local multiplayer, it's yeah. got online multiplayer. And if it really hooks you, you're gonna stop caring what it looks like. Yeah, and it's the same deal where like the physical board game is like forty bucks, and this is on sale for three bucks. Awesome. It's normally five, and it's on yeah. sale for three. What Very percent cool. off is that? Uh, forty. Forty. Forty is wow. the answer. Math. I did not expect that right now. <laughs> that is that's that's impressive. Uh, last up today, we have Neuroshima Hex. Yeah, big fan. No, I have no idea what this is. Um, this is another, this again won a bunch of Game of the Year awards. Uh, it's a hex based strategy war game, okay. I guess. Yeah. So I think the AI is going to take its turn now. Okay. So you place the hexagons first until the hexagon board is full, and then, you know, the hexagons can sort of fight and clash okay. against each other. Okay. And uh, every turn, you draw three, and then you have to choose one to discard. And okay. so, um, you know, and you can learn as you play by hitting this, like, info button, and it'll tell you, like, what yeah, like, yeah. what different tiles do. Um, again, I'm not going to be able to, like, get into the details of, like, what's what here. So yeah. you discard one and choose two. So there's interesting decision-making right there. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And then you can drag, and then you can rotate these. Maybe? Why isn't it rotating? Uh, uh, oh, there, there we, we go. Are. And so you can rotate these. So like this one will do things to like the different tiles I place yeah, it next yeah. to. So it's like if an enemy places an attacker, I can place, for example, like I placed this net, which is like you know it disables okay. an adjacent cool, cool. opponent. So, and then once the board's full, then the game sort of moves into yeah. the same space. Let me be honest. The uh, the presentation is like a bit much to me. 
Like there's the, a uh, lot going on. There is a lot going on. But it's kind of cool. I mean, it's better than being bland, I guess. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nirishima Hex is actually a very, very. It's a great game. Okay. Um, have you have you played the physical board game? Uh, no, I've only. I don't. I don't. My first introduction to it was iPad. This also might be one okay. that's digital first. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm, but I'm not sure on yeah. that. I only played it on iPad. Okay. Um, and this is the same deal with all the sort of local multiplayer AI, all the modes. You yeah, expect. yeah. And this is uh, also on sale for three bucks. Nice. This is a board. This is a board game day. Yeah, board game week because we had Eclipse yeah. yesterday and we had Stone Age on sale Monday. Wow. Yeah, iPad is becoming – this especially excites me because I'm a big board game yeah. guy and I'm a big mobile games yeah, guy. Yeah. So it's like my head explodes yeah, when absolutely. all these like Literally awesome board is, games – There's head juice everywhere. Uh -huh. It's yeah. gross. It's super creepy. I don't know how I'm still talking. Yeah, I know. It's impressive. Uh, it's yeah, a solid day. Mm -hmm. Nothing nothing too standout-ish. But Yeah, I good. agree. I, you know, better than Portal. Again, yeah. I want to hate it because of its name, yeah. but it's actu it actually seems pretty yeah. polished and Compton. seems fine. Um, you know, in three board games. Yeah, look at that. Fun day. Uh, Marty, thank you for joining yeah, me. Yeah, it was my pleasure, Justin. Everyone at home, thank you for tuning in. If you are playing board games on your iPad, uh, you know, leave a comment or you know, tweet at us. Whoa, yeah. Um, you know, and let us know what you think, what you're playing, um, what you would like to see come to iPad. Yeah. I want to see Dominion. Ooh. Do you know Dominion? No. Oh, you're just sounds <laughs> exciting. I, I get excited when other people get excited. You're being so. a good sidekick. Yeah, being like, you. ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then if I call you on it, you're like, no. Nope. Yeah, no, at least I'm honest, though. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, Dominion's really, really okay. good. I'd love to see that come to iPad. Um, Anyway, thank you, everybody, and remember that for all the hottest mobile game news, you should be keeping it locked to IGN.